Hello there folks, welcome to another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic in a Minecraft scale of 4 to 1. This is your host and friend Normally Junction welcoming you back for another episode. And before I begin folks, I just want to say a special thank you to all as I say I was recently looking at my subscriber rate and I've approached the 2000 uh, subscriber mark. So I want to say a big thank you to you all, it very much means a lot to me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and to get to this milestone for me personally. I mean, I know it's not a small subscriber, the big roller to me, it means a lot. Okay, so like I said, once again, big thank you guys, and we're going to be going on to the next build now. Uh, like I say, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. And if you are still currently subscribed, thank you very much for sticking around with me because I know this build is taking a very long time, but hey, I want to get it right. I want to get it absolutely spot on for you guys and like I say I don't have a lot of time uh, being a father and like I say working full time this is all done in my spare time but like I say I want to do it right okay and we are going to get it right and it will be finished and completed and we'll celebrate even more then <laughs> okay so let's get going so today's episode we are going to be building the second class staircase this is a staircase that was to only for second class um, passengers only on the White Star Liner it's basically a structure that is located to the rear of the fourth funnel and it goes all the way from the boat deck to G deck for G for door, George. I didn't realise how deep it went and it also had an elevator which I didn't know as well. So there you go, you learn something new every day. So let's begin. So we'll start with light grey concrete. Come to frame 80. So let's just mark these up here. So frame 81, 82 and 80. So miss out the middle one there and we're going to go to the left and the right by 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And let's go to this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and then we're going inwards all the way up to frame 72. So let's go over to frame 72, which I think I have marked as 74. 75, 73, 72. So it's one in from the raised platform of the four funnel. So like I say, we could just put a different colour block there. And so we're going out again by 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've gone out too far. Uh, right, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I'll just do 15 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm just going to double check my notes because as you know, know me by now, I am prone to making mistakes. So let me just go to the Titanic version of what we're building today. I'll give you a quick glimpse. I've not finished it, but I do know what I need to do. Okay, so it's one in from the side. I'll actually, I'll actually give you a little peek of what we're going to build today. This is what I've been building, along with the elevator shaft as well. It goes all the way down there, and some shafts as well, some ventilating shafts. So this is what we're going to build. So let's get back to the build. Okay, so what you need to do now is I fly back over. Okay, each of, the, each of these lines of 15, put a uh, block in like that. <clears throat> block in like that. Same on this side as well, and you can just drag it along really. There we go. Okay, so that joins up nicely, and that joins up nicely as well there. Right, so the next stage we need to do, okay, is from this corner here, go out by three, one, two, three. Same on the other side, one, two, three. And then you're gonna need to go inward by seven, but there's a temporary block there, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven i'll reiterate that again one two three four five six seven <laughs> oh excuse me uh, right and so like on this side it's one gap in one two three four five six seven and then you go inwards by the three one two three so it looks like this okay the same again so it's one two three and what you need to do is remove the floor now, as I said before, these are the two shafts that are going downwards. Uh, bit in one second, I'll get rid of this one and rid of this one as well. So what you need to do now is get your grey concrete block, which is this one, that's dark grey concrete, let's call it. And underneath the light grey, just put 
a block like that so it matches with the frame. Okay. There we go. So it just looks like that basically, and it's the same for this side as well. So I'll remove one, two, three, and replace these as one, two, three. Okay. But we only have to do this once on both sides, which I'll show you in a moment. So, so it should look like that right now. So what you need now is terracotta, uh, basically grey terracotta. Okay. And what you need to do, put this on the light con concrete first. Okay, so put a perimeter, well, an inner, inner, an inner perimeter. <laughs> I can't get my words out tonight. Okay, same as that side. So it goes all the way across. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three across, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just like that. And underneath, like I say, it's only one block width. And underneath the terracotta, you can put uh, light grey concrete like that, okay? So it looks like that. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, which you can do underneath here, light grey concrete. There you go. Now what you need to do now is drag this structure all the way to the bottom of G-Deck. So as I say, it fits in nicely on this back wall here. So what you need to do now is get your grey terracotta, all the way around like I say I'm only going to do one side it'll be, it'll be just too long I'll do it on the famous jump cuts work your way down so you get to the next floor in fact what I'll do I'll just use this, just use this back wall as a reference okay and then when you get to here when you hit the floor like I say it'll be like that basically you need to remove one, two, three. You need to move the inner ones. And when you look downwards and upwards, remove the perimeter around the terracotta. Well, the terracotta that sits on top of it, just like this. Okay, and then get your like, grey concrete and go all the way around. And once you've done that first one, you just get your grey terracotta again and join it upwards like that go now you need to repeat this process on both sides port on starboard for the shaft all the way down to the top sorry the bottom is it the bottom of G deck hang on I'll give you like I say so it should look like this deck by deck basically it's a quite simple structure to do well it's quite easy to mess up I do uh, but like I say, once you've done the first one, you just make your way down to the next deck. So like I say, you just pull this block here until you come level with the frame. So when you get to the frame, put a grey concrete block there. So it's three. So like I say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then it's one, two, three. One, two, two, three, three, four, five, six. And that one is seven. Okay. So like I say, you join that up all the way, okay? Like I say, you need to repeat the process on the other side. So this is B deck. So you go down to C deck, C for Charlie. So I'll put a block there to indicate that's how far you got to go down. This is D deck, D for David. So like I say, I'll need to remove all that. And then you're on E deck, because it does go down there. I'll put a bit of light down there. Okay. Uh, what are we on again? F deck, C, C, D, oh no, E deck. And uh, this is F deck, F for Freddy. Okay, so it does go down all the way down here, so I'll block, block there. And this is the G deck, G for George. Now I'm trying to remember if is it on G deck or is it just above G deck? So if you just bear with me one second, guys, I'll go and fly back over to the Titanic. And I'll show you an example while I'm doing this. It's always good to show you while well, I'm mean, than me just saying it. That's how I learn. So, as you can see, like I say, I'm not fully done it myself. These are the two shafts we're doing. So, you're going downwards. So, like I say, this is A deck, B deck, C deck. As you can see, here's the shafts C deck, D deck, E deck, 
F deck, and yet it's the top of G deck. So we're going as far as the top of G deck. If I'll show you, look at it. It's a bit dark, but hey ho, put some light there for you. So if we fly all the way up here. There you go, that's where we are. Uh, let me out. But I'll replace them in just a minute. So, okay, so it's the top of G deck. Okay, so I'll carry on with the next section. Like I say, you can do that off cut. Uh, what we're going to do now, so like I say, that's just the boat deck, A deck, B deck, C deck, D deck, and this is E deck, and then it's F deck. Okay, and this is G deck. So basically, once you get to F deck, stop there. So basically, the frame, that's G deck. This is F deck. The bottom of F deck is where you're going to stop. Okay, so that's the end. All right, so I hope you'll remember that. Because like I say, I'll have to finish all the rest in the jump cut. Because the video will just be too long. Too, too long. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the middle elevator shaft. Uh, the, the elevator in the center. So what you need to do is come to frame 77 middle block here get your famous light gray concrete again okay and on the side actually no sorry get smooth quartz slabs and put two on each side okay and then what you need to do is go out by another three one two three on this side one two three okay like I said this is the start this is the elevator okay now coming inwards Temporary block again, right there, put one block there, and you're going out by nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come across here, put a block there, and it should be eleven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come around again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, that's all fine. Now the inner inners of the elevator shaft, what you need. Well, because of this uh, skin pack or whatever, it's um, texture pack, that's the word, texture pack. I've been using black wool. So if I get the black wool, wait one second. Go around the inner of the elevator shaft, like this. Okay. But obviously leave this gap of five, leave a gap of five here because this is the door. Okay, so this is where the door goes. But underneath, you will need to get grey concrete and remove these five here. Replace them with grey concrete and remove everything in the middle here. As so, I'll give you a demonstration. But I'll leave these signposts in so I know where the frame numbers are. Let's move all of these. And then once again, same as the, sh as the shafts there, go underneath the wall and replace them with the dark grey concrete. Just like this. There we go. Go all the way around again. There is a method to my madness. <laughs> okay. should look like that okay and once again same with the shafts there like I said these this lift goes all the way to F deck so like I say the, the lift goes down to F deck so once again get your black wall where the gray concrete is okay, I've just done a, think, a little mistake there have I done a mistake no I haven't no I haven't I've just missed that this one here bear with me there we go so I say, it does take a little time, but like I say, I won't be doing it on the video. You'll see the famous jump cups again. But this is what you need to do. There you go. So it should look like that. And work your way downwards. Like I say, if I just start from this corner as an example, once you get to the deck, level with the deck, okay, just remove these, go underneath, and put dark grey that's your next reference okay so you need to do that all the way around if I can 
get down, so I'll go down again. So it's best looking downwards like this, or well, upwards. Work my way down, but as soon as I come level with the frame, a little bit of light there, so we'll see what we're doing. There we go. Let's go again. So which deck is this now? A deck now. This is C deck. C for Charlie. Okay. So that's D deck done. Oh, bit dark here. This is a problem now because we're blocking out the sun. Uh, this is E deck. And this is F deck. This is as far as we go. F for Freddy. Let's get my wall again. Go all the way down. There we go. So once you get to the top, the bottom on the F deck, that's where you stop. In fact, what we could do here. Now let's go back to the top. So like I say, it just it is going to take a little bit of time to do. But continue that process. Basically, go all the way around like this. Okay. But once I say the lift, the lift doors are on this side. Okay, so you will need to leave a little bit of a gap of, gap of five. Okay, so like I say, I'll use this as an example. So if I remove, you know, like I say, I'm doing my best to explain this. It's not, it's not uh, best to explain with my dyslexia. Okay. So it just looked like this, and every time you do this side, the south side, the st facing the stern, come to the center and put one, two, obviously the sand pulse is gonna go like that okay and then you just fill in both sides so it's these three these three blocks here okay but the rest of the elevator you just do in the walls okay because there's no need for basically it's just the doors we need to get right so like I say I'll do my famous jump cups now so like I say I'll just do it one more time so let's get all this right. So I'll start from this corner, drag it down until it hits the floor. Then you just remove the floor and replace them with a grey concrete, like there, as so. A couple of block there. And join it up this side as well. So remove all of these. There we go, and then remove everything in the centre. Like I said, but I'm going to keep the uh, the signposts on. It's just to remind me where I am. Oh, dude, excuse me. I'm still got, I'm still suffering from a bit of a virus, guys. But I'm on the mend now, so I've got a bit more energy tonight. As you can tell from my enthusiasm. <laughs> right. So, like I say, yep. Yeah. So, like I say, this is a deck. B deck, what deck are we on? Yeah, A deck, A for Alpha. Okay, and like I say, just fill it all the way around. Like I say, the walls on the starboard side, port side, and facing about are just four walls, but the one facing the stern is the doorway. It's the best way I can describe it to you. Right, so like I say, I, um, hopefully you've got an idea of what we need to do. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. I'll do a jump up, guys, with the finished product of both the uh, shafts here and the elevator shafts. And we'll continue on with the boat deck side. Right, folks, I'm back. And I now have completed the two uh, ventilation shafts and the elevator shaft as well. Just show you the full length. Please, I mean, if we zoom back out, fly over here a little bit. It should show you how much of the length this uh, section of the ship goes how how big in height and depth it goes so afterwards okay so we're going to do the door now so on this row of five in the smooth stone just behind it now what i've used i use redstone lamp because i think it looks pretty good as a door because of this texture pack by all means you can use any block you like okay so it's going to be eight in height so that's one two three four five six seven eight and then it's one two three four five six seven eight 
and fill in another row of height, row eight in height here and put another one there next to it and in the center just use a gray concrete actually no won't we use gray concrete uh we'll use a brown terracotta okay i know, I know it doesn't look that the best but i think it looks okay for what it is and then what you need to do is come to the top and remove the middle two there okay and then you need let me just get some iron bars i'll put them there for now okay and then you just put them in here as well and if there's any gaps at the top you just fill in which there should be uh using this black wall again i mean could be, just because of this texture pack i've got this really good pattern with the black wall uh, but what I'd use for yourselves guys is just actually black concrete or black wool itself. It's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but like I say, I probably would use um, black wool for the elevator. Or maybe black terracotta. That looks pretty good. Okay, so there should be, when when there's a grey line there, there should be a gap of two from the, from the door. So if I go to the next deck, I could just put a roll there. And then go back to my redstone lamp. Go to here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think here now is a three now. Wait one second, let me just check the height. It could be the different height of the deck as well, because I know some are 10 high, some are 11 high. Uh, just wait one second, guys. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, let me just go back in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think back to my very first video I did. I mean, I know some of the decks are 10 blocks high and some are 11. So you will see a difference when you do the doors. But the doors themselves will remain at... Tell you what, what we'll do is remove all this. Forget the uh, brown tower. We'll go for, go for the uh, dark oak. Oak wood, I think that will look pretty nice. Like I say, this is just because it's my build, but this does mean, you know, you can have your own spin on it. Use your own imagination. There we go. So I'll just do that one there. I'll come to the other go to the next deck up. There you go. So that's what it should look like. That looks pretty good. So let's go to this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I just put a block there actually. Just one, two, three, four. Oh, four. Do it right in height? No, I didn't. There you go. So it's one there, one there, one there. Yeah, and it's another row of three to the grey concrete, grey concrete line. Uh, let me just fill that in. There we go. Right in now. Remove those two. There we go. And just get your. I mean, I know he does a lot of the best, but I think it's the best what I have, really. Okay, so I'll go to the top of the A deck now. So I'll say I'll finish the rest with a jump cut. Okay, and what I have done as well during the jump cut, we have to do some wall height here. Uh, so when you go back to the grey concrete line, you need to go up by 11 in white. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And one grey concrete there. Okay, so that's what you need to do. And needs to go all the way around, so like as a so. So if we do one whole section here, there you go. And make sure you go on the inside wall as well. Okay. Well, let's finish on the door here. So get my redstone lamps again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do another row here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's, you know, four lots of four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'll just use the oak wood again and get my iron bars ready and remove these two. There we go. So that's one and that's two. So that's the door there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do a jump cut, folks. So I'll finish this white concrete walls. I'll finish the doors. And we'll be moving on towards the centre of the room. Right, well there you go folks. That's how the structure should look like after raising the white concrete and adding a grey concrete on the top. So after this, you just need to find the centre again. Centre frame, centre block, which is roughly about there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, gap of six. 
so that's the middle there and once again just put a, a white uh, quartz block on the center of the gray concrete line drag it across and once again get a gap of three of each frame and uh, just like that just a so because i'll say we just need to do the same again it's another floor one, two, three, one, two, three. I think there's one more. Yes, there is. And just drag him to each side of the grip of this each side of the port and the starboard side. There we go. Bit quick as I can for you, folks. Okay. So we get the roof done. I'll say I'll just do one side for now. Like I say, we just need to we do need to speed this along. And once again, get your smooth quartz slab and fill in and make the roof. Okay, so I'll just do one for now. I mean, you know the routine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just fill in every single one. But let's go and put some windows in first. So we'll start off on this corner. And this is on the starboard side. From this cut block here, go up by two. So not the grey one, the white ones. That's one, two. And go up one more. So put a temporary block there if you get a bit lost. And go to the left by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I put a block there. I can't remove that one now. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And just remove three blocks. Okay. And then you get your white stained glass blocks and put them in. So you need to go up by six on each side. So that's, uh, so that's one. So that's two. So that's three, four. five six okay so it's three by six three by six in height okay but just add take one more out and put it in there okay but like i say these are glass stains they don't actually go on the inside on the outside they go on so i just i just destroyed one of the concrete blocks i knew i would uh they go on the inside so like i say you could so let me go on the inside do it do it like this so you just put one, two, uh, two. Okay. Just like that. And then you just go back outside and remove that, that layer there. Oh, just show you one there. There we go. So it should look like that. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. And it's a gap of five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you remove the next three. Uh, so you got all of the second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, and the sixth row, and the one there. So remember, it's a gap of five. So once again, I mean, you can just put one block there and work, work, work your way up. Let's remove it. There you go. So that's that side done. So let's come on to the back of the structure now. Once again, Starting from the third block up of white, not the, well, it's the fourth block then, fourth. One, two, three, four, five, remove three. And once again, go up by six. One block there. There we go. And once again, there you go. One, two, three, four and a five and a six there you go so i just need to do the other side now so come over to this side okay so it's one two third block up one two three four five remove three and uh, that's one row two row three row fourth row five row six row and one at the top so it's seven seven blocks in high but we only need to go up by six well, seven for the centre. There you go, so that's one. It's two. And that's three. There you go, so we just need to do this next side now. Okay, once again, two white concrete blocks up. So we're on the third one. One, two, three, four, five. Move three. And then one, two, three, four, five. Move the next three. There we go. So let's get rid of these. Four five and six block there one two three 
four, five, and six. Block there, done. Okay, so let's put the windows in. Okay, and there's just one more window to do. And then we'll do the railing. There we go. So let's get this one done as well. Ah. Like I say, if you've got any questions about Bill, once again, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. There we go. So we've got roughly about six windows in, and now we just need to get the last one, which is here. Basically, the middle of the frame, looking towards the stern, two blocks up, and then one, two, and three. One, two, three. One, one two, and three. That's the fourth one, fifth one, and the sixth one. Take out the center, and same as usual. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And one at the top. There we go. So that's all the windows done. So let's have a look on the outside, shall we? Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Right. Okay, so now we need a fence gate. Go for the dark oak. Let's replace this block now. Okay, starting from this corner here, because it's a five, just aim for the middle three, and it's one above the glass. That's so one, two, and three. This one here. One, two, and three. And then you get roughly about one block in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And show. Sure. So there's six there in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct, because there's going to be a door here, you see. So it's the same on this side. Okay, so like I say, go for the middle three. Middle three. Oh, there's that one. And then one block across. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it just gives the effect of a little railing there. All right. Okay, so now we need to add some lights. Now what I use, because once again, because of the texture pack, I use a beacon. And the beacon goes roughly about here, in between the two windows. Roughly about there. Okay. And it's the same for the other side. So again, so aim for the single block, but just go right for the middle. So it's like that. And then you need two more. One in the centre shaft here. So go for the white concrete line. So as I guess I get familiar with the position. So it's the third one down. So it's roughly there. So there's a three and the three because it's a row of seven and two in from the great concrete. So I like say one, two, three, there's the centre, down by two, and it's on the third one. There you go. I mean, I mean if you got think of something better, by all means go for it. Okay. Right, okay, moving on. I'm gonna remove the door now. So you need to come get my notes here, folks. It's in between frames 78 and 79. It's basically these two here. Let's double check. I always like to be sure. 78 and 79 there we go and it's roughly three four five six seven blocks in height so go to the concrete line move those three so that's one two three four five six and it's seven there we go so the same this side because there's two doors one two three four five six seven okay those are the doors all right so if you come back to the top okay once again you need oh sure, i already got it uh gray concrete okay come to the center line here again okay so excuse me i think my cold's coming back uh back on frame 77 which this is blocks here and all you need to do is go out by um uh, let me get the block straight so that's one one two three four and five yeah it's five blocks out one two three four five okay and then you go roughly across uh then one second basically where the wall concrete it where the wall blocks are you're just lining it up so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think it's eleven no it's wrong and that says one two three four five six seven nine nine blocks in width okay so once again put towards the center one two three four and five and line them up nicely okay so i just remove the frame that's above it as so 
because like I said there's a little hut at the top it's where the, the house the uh, gearing for the elevator as you can see over there on the Titanic there's a little block as well all right so like I say yep uh, we just need you just fill in the other side put the smooth stone on top which I'll do now for you uh, but obviously I'll have to do it in a jump cut because I don't want to bore you but also what you need to do, do as well with the shafts once again get your grey concrete place the beacon okay once again fill in the square here one and two one and two there we go and on the inside get your grey terracotta there we go and just start filling it in same as usual get it right to the top just like that okay so right I'm gonna do a jump cut now folks so I will be back in just a moment right we're back again so this is how it should look like just at this moment in time now and so I just have a quick peek inside looking all the way around looking good right okay so what we need to do now we're going to do the upper hatch area which is basically where the gearing is for the elevator uh, but also what you need to do as well folks uh, which I forgot to mention actually so I do apologize for that again uh, is well, well once again I'm using the because of the texture pack uh, the black wool Okay, let's put it there for now. And just bring all your black wool all the way up to the top. Okay, so like I say, I just need to fill in it all going right to the top. So we're basically filling, we're finishing off the elevator. So like I say, yeah, I should have done that in there. The off cut, basically, the uh, when I was doing my jump cut. But I just realized I forgot about it. Okay, so like I say, you just need to fill this all in going all the way to the top. All right, so... Yeah, so I want another jump cut. He's on its way, guys. But like I say, what you can do for now is get your dark oak slab, okay, and give yourself a perimeter. Also, you need to put a single grey block where the doors are, opposite the frame, the one next along. So this one on the port side is basically two in from the door, just off uh, frame number 78. And I'll just come over here now. Yeah, 78, and I put another one there as well. Okay. But what you can can do is just put a perimeter of your dark oak slab all the way around the structure okay get this done quickly just one of those little jobs that need doing okay now comes that bit now and we get to the back as well Okay, done. Right, so we're going to come to the roof now. Well, done now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come to the roof now. Now you need to come to frame 78, which I've marked with a block. Get your grey concrete again, light grey. And you need to go out by at least uh, seven, I think. Let's double check. Seven on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on, I'm just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Uh, temporary block. Just give me one second. I want to check my notes, guys. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, sorry, no, it's not a seven, it's five. It's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I say temporary block there. Okay, and then you need to stretch it across by 17. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Once again, leave that block there. Drag it all the way across. Same again on this side, go out by five, one, two, three, four, five, block there. I say go straight across as well. Okay, so it should look just like that. In fact, we don't need to have any temporary blocks or gaps there. It's going to be a quick square structure. Okay, oh, there we go, done, done, and done. There you go, so that's what it should look like. Okay, so what you need to do is put the door in, which is here. Okay, so what you need to do is basically remove these grey concrete ones one two and three and replace them with a darker one okay uh so well keeps going from normal to grey light grey i do get confused sometimes okay so once again get your white concrete and once again it's one two three three four five six and seven one two three four five six and seven and you're going across on the top so it's eight high okay so the whole thing structure is eight high so i say it's one two three four five six seven 
seven, eight. I'll say I'll go from the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'll drag this right across. There we go. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Drag it all the way across. And same from this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, fill that in. All right, across. Okay, and same routine as again. I say you just need to fill in, apart from the door, of course. Just fill in the walls here. Okay, but like I say, I'll do that on a jump cut. But also, what else you need to do, folks, same as usual, get your block of quartz, go across the center again, and go start from this side here. Gap of three, put a block, gap of three, put a block. It's the frames again, a good old friend, the frames. So that should be a gap of one, which is correct. Okay, so I'll just do one side. Because there's, there's no point in me doing it all, because that's to say that it's symmetry. And you know, if you've been watching my videos, you should know the routine by now. Okay, so like I say, get your smooth quartz slabs, fill in the roof. And what you need to do after that is basically get your quartz slabs. You need quartz slabs, okay? Starting from this corner, just go all the way across. There we go. Just like that. Very easy. Okay, so like I say, it should just look like that. And then what you do as the roof, I would use, uh, probably say, what did I use last time? Well, that's something a bit different. No, 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 no. I want it to look good. Uh, we'll stick with the polished andesite. I can never say it again. Polished andesite slab. There's probably people screaming at me at the screen saying, hey, can you say it like this? And you just basically fill it in as the roof. Okay, so it's pretty much what we did for the uh, fourth funnel over there. All right, so like I say, I'll just do a few blocks so you get an idea. So I'll get ready for the next jump cut. But what I need to do now is once again, get your dark oak slab, go along across the gray concrete lines. There we go. So that's that filled in, got all the way there. So it should look like just like that. Okay, right. So we're going to do the railing now. So you need, um, hang on, I need a quartz slab and a block of quartz. Okay, I'll just replace that one. Okay, so if you start in the middle on this side, not towards the stone, towards the bow. Okay, if you want to just put a block there so you don't get confused. Uh, it's a gap of three, so that's one, two, and three. So you put one block there, one block there. But for the rest of the structure, it's a gap of six. So And you go up by four. All right, so I'll do one side as usual again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Put a block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put a block there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, put a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, put a block. Three, four, five, six, and put a block. Okay, so that's where your last one goes. And once again, you just do them all as four high. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now get your um, not smooth, the quartz slab. And for the railing, you just put one on top of the grey concrete, like that. I don't know if you heard any buzzing there, but I think my phone just went off. Hopefully it's just another subscriber. Fingers crossed. Okay. Two, three. And then get your blocks of quartz. Four high. Okay, so I'm not going all the way around. Like I say, it's just the same, but sticking with this one here, Okay, you need to go on the second block up, which is one, just put a slab there, which I just realized I'm on the wrong slabs, and put one right at the top. So you go across like that. That's the railing. Okay, and to, to make it a bit more fancy, once again, our reliable friend, the button. There you go. I'll just put it, uh, where should I put it? Put it there now. Uh, every time you see a quarter spot, you can just put one there and one there. 
one at the top and one at the top. All right. So I'll just do another one more. So like I say, it's the second one. Just like that. Okay, just drag this along. And obviously I have to go from this side to get that effect. Okay, just remove that one. And going across here. go so that's what it should look like but like I say this will be a gap of three in the middle here so one two three one two three one two three and once again get the button put one at the top one at the top and one on the grey concrete line so I can remove that now uh, of course that there you go okay and what else you need to do is starting from this corner here once again get your dark oak slab Put it on the inside, going all the way around the perimeter. Like I said, I've just got halfway, because obviously you get the gist. Now we're going to do one of the vents here now. Okay, so what you need is a block of quartz. Okay, start it on this corner here. So we go, we're basically, we're going across by three. So what I mean by that is starting from this one, it's one, two, and three. Okay, I'm coming around the back. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, and three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so what you need to do now is we're going up height in seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then this one here is going up in six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the one at the back is basically going up in five. Okay, and what you need as well is your quartz stairs. Once I find them, I'll just put, uh, put it there. Okay, quartz stairs. So basically just put one in there, one in there. And all you need to do is a block of quartz at the back. Just bring it up. Okay. So it's hidden there. So like I said, once again, that's one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And then when you get to the top, okay, you've got stairs. And all you need to do with the stairs is to drag it across, just like that. As he says. <laughs> but try not to make a mistake like I just did. Okay, so that's it all should be planed off. So seal off the top. Oh, and this one there. Now you need to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go across just like this. There you go, and there's your vent. So what you need to do now on the inside is get your grey terracotta. I think I really need to get a new control pad, ga control pad guys. This one has I think, seen its day. And also you need iron bars. Just fill in wherever you see a quartz slab, a uh, quartz block. Okay, and just fill it in as, as so. There we go, just fill in the top. And fill in the sides. So it's a long way down. Okay, so everything is filled in now. And to finish it off, just get your iron bars and put it on the quartz slab. There you go. So that's what the vent looks like. And finishing off as well get your dark oak slab put it across the back of the vent in fact you just string it right across where the grey concrete line is now there is one more uh, railing to do because obviously there's a bit of railing here exposed but once again I think we can just do the same again so it's gap of three so there's one there and one there from the center line so it's a three and then we could just put it as a normal block just here 
well, we don't really need, because like I say, it's one, two, three, four, five. There's a gap of five, a gap of three. Mm, let's see if we can make it a bit more even. I like to be even. So there's a gap of five. One, two, three. No, it's not going to work. Uh, what about one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. Mm. Sorry, I'm thinking, guys, it's a dangerous thing. No, we'll just stick to what we normally do. Okay, so it's gap of three, and they should take the array, put a, put a block here. As that's one, two, three, and four. Once again, put a button on the top, and put a, put a button here and a button there. Quartz slot, four blocks high. Button on the top, button on the top, and then get your slab. Put one across the bottom, one towards the vent here. Second, Block up, aim for the top, fill that in there, and then we'll just do that. Okay, so like I say, I'm going to go, and what else you can do as well is fill in this deck with the old, blank, old planks. So I'll just get some of them now. There we go. So basically, you just fill in all this area here. Right, so there's another jump cut for me now, guys. So I'll finish the other side, and I'll be back in just a moment. And I'm back, folks. And I think we've come to the end of the video now. The well, I've done. I think, I think we've done pretty well to get this far. This has been quite a long video already, and I don't want to go any longer because, like I say, we've still got to do the inside. Uh, one or two more details on this structure. But like I say, I'm going to make it a two-parter. So, like I say, to finish off. Just get your quartz slabs. We're going to fill in these corners here. So, like I said, when you start doing this railing, because I did notice one of the railings I had a gap of five, so I had to extend it. So, as long as you've got a gap of two there, you're fine. Uh, just put another quartz slab on here and just put in two more railings. Uh, one at the bottom, the middle, sorry, on the top, so it's three railings. So, just finish it off like that and on the other side as well. Okay. So one, two, one, two. I mean, I do need to add a staircase as well because obviously you've got to get up to the structure as well. But like I said, that'll be in the next part. Okay. Right. So, yes, I'm going to leave it there. But like I said, the next part, we will be doing the inside here. Like I said, we'll be removing some of this floor here as well. Uh, like I said, we've completed the shaft. I mean, I think we have done quite a lot today. But I just don't want to drag the video any out anymore. But like I say... You know, you've done the ventilation shafts, you've done the elevator, which is stretching all the way down to F deck. So I say it's quite a large structure. So like I say, yeah, if you've liked what you've liked, please consider giving the video a like. I think I've said the word like three times there. <laughs> but if you liked what you've seen so far, please give it a like. Uh, let your friends know about the video. Give it a share. Um, like I say, you know, I'm doing my best here. So like I say, I'm pretty much doing this all in my private time. And in the evening as well, where I do get a bit tired as well. Plus, I'm still recovering from a virus as well. So, like I say, um, I'm going to leave it there now. So, if you have, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider it to subscribe. Make sure you got your notification bells on to make sure any more future videos or releases I do. And also, I do some uh, slide shots and opinion polls in the community page. But like I say, yep, I think we're done here for now. So, this is normally Junction. Wishing you all, all a happy weekend and uh, stay help, help and, and be safe. You know, it's a dangerous world out there. And I'll see you and I will see you all in the next one. Good night.